we work on two boards uh, try, in an effort to try to get this video done in under five minutes. Uh, I, here's a graph from Desmos that shows what's happening. The red curve, f of x, is the cosine of 3x. Uh, the area under that curve from 0 to pi over 6 above the x-axis is the shaded gray region. And y equals negative 2 is the axis of revolution. And I've drawn a dashed line here that sort of represents a typical uh, radius from the axis of revolution to the curve. So the outer radius, oh, by the way, uh, in order to do this problem manually, you have to know that the antiderivative of cosine squared is this thing right here. Uh, this is supposed to be a plus sign. Um, and that's a separate video if you don't know how to do that, but you can look it up in your calculus book. And the washer method is pi times the definite integral from a to b, in our case, 0 to pi over 6, of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. So the outer radius is the distance from the axis of revolution up to here. Well, this distance right here is the cosine of 3x. It's the y value of the function. So it's the, the uh, top point, which is the cosine of 3x, minus the, this y-coordinate here, which is y minus a negative 2. So that's the cosine of 3x plus 2 which is what I have right here. That's the outer radius squared. The inner radius of the washer is the distance from here to here, which is 0 minus a negative 2, or 2. 2 squared is 4. That's where this 4 came from, the inner radius squared. And if I replace f of x with the cosine of 3x, I have the cosine of 3x plus 2, the quantity squared. What I've done is squared that binomial right here. First term squared plus twice the product of the two terms squared plus the second term squared. And then this minus 4. So we've got pi times a definite integral from 0 to pi over 6 of this thing right here. So we have to get an antiderivative of this and evaluate. So let's go to board 2. There's that problem again. Uh, I separated this into two definite integrals. And then I used u substitution. Let u equal 3x. So if I let u equal 3x, du is 3dx. Kind of picture putting a 3 here. So I have 3dx, which means I put a 1 third out front and the same thing here. And then we have to replace the limits of integration also. So when x is 0, u is 0. When x is pi over 6, you picture putting pi over 6 in for this x. 3 times pi over 6 is pi 2. <clears throat> so this row right here is what you get after you've completed your u substitution. Uh, and now... I have to use that identity or that that formula for the antiderivative of the cosine squared of u. Here it is, evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. The antiderivative of cosine, of course, is sine, still from 0 to pi over 2. If you picture putting pi over 2 in for this u, you get pi over 4. Pi over 2 in for this u, this sine of pi 0. And then if I put 0, uh, I get another 0. And uh, I'll let you uh, look at the rest of it. I think we did it in under 5 minutes. So the answer seems to be confirmed here on Desmos. I just set up the definite integral using the definite integral operator. And here is the answer that's on the second board. They appear to match. So it looks like this was probably done correctly. There you go.